I'll be showing nine new features in Microsoft Teams. This includes time-saving updates to chats and channels, custom emojis, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. The first new feature is the ability to add an icon or a picture for your group chat. So I've got a group chat here all about these new TPS report, the project, and I wanna, instead of having just all these little people here, I'm gonna click to change the profile picture. They have some defaults, so something like a unicorn, that's very nice, I'm gonna go back here. You have some other options, all kinds of fun stuff here. You can choose an emoji, so maybe I'm gonna choose this one. But maybe the best part is you can upload your own. So I'm gonna choose upload here. I've got a nice image, hit open. There is a nice reflect heart logo that's plugged in. It's a very nice one. So it's a lot of fun to be able to go and here's the original reset back to the default, hit save, and we're back to where we started. The second new feature is support for thumbnails of Word, Excel, and PowerPoint documents and other types of Office docs when you put it into a chat or a channel. So in this case, I'm gonna to go to my team and we'll go to files. I've got a nice TPS report document here. So I'll select it, choose share, and I'll copy a link. Now I'm gonna close and go back to the chat. And now I'll go down here and just do a paste. And very quickly you get a beautiful thumbnail. Hey, there's Bill Lumberg, there's my TPS report. Here's the document. I can even change the permissions in real time right there. So it's a really nice thumbnail that's easy to see. I'm gonna send that off. Now here's an example right here. I had three different, I've got Word, Excel, PowerPoint thumbnails as well. So you can see what that looks like. The third new feature is context from recent files when you're attaching files into chats or channels. I'm in my chat here and I'll click plus and I'm gonna choose attach file. It quickly has the context of other files that I've recently added, so it makes it really easy. Just click and add that right here and just send it away. The fourth new feature is the forward slash command in chats and channels. This is a way to really nicely save time. So I'm gonna click down here and I will type the forward slash and there are a set of commands. So if I do forward slash in window, it very quickly pops up this chat into a window, just like that. Instead of having to go to the three dot menu and launch it or pop out. Another option is I can say, delete the chat. So if I'm in a chat I wanna delete, I can do slash delete. There's a whole lot of commands. Record a video clip, setting your status to busy, do not disturb, all the shortcuts. Maybe I wanna open all the keyboard shortcuts. I will type in shortcuts. And hey, there are all the great keyboard shortcuts for Teams. So lots of options with that forward slash command. It also works for channels and there's a different set of commands that would work inside of a channel. So I'll choose to start post and down here I'll do forward slash and you'll see it's a shorter number of options, but there's still a lot of good things. So maybe I wanna add a code block, forward slash code. Maybe I wanna add a loop paragraph. So I'll just do forward slash loop and enter. And it pops that loop paragraph right into my channel message. The fifth new feature is meet now availability directly from your group chats. So I have a chat right here with a few different people. Now I can just click on meet now. That's gonna pop up and ring these people right away and pull everyone into a meeting to just do a really nice collaborative meeting and I get all the nice features that I would normally get. If you wanna just go and just do a video versus audio call, you can drop that down as well. The sixth new feature is enhanced controls for notifications inside of settings. So I will go up here and drop the three dot menu and choose settings. Now over notifications and activity, I'll click there and right under sound, there's some new options. So you have all your default sounds right here, but now there's a play sounds with urgent and priority contact notifications. So by default, you get this, but I'm gonna go and say prioritize. There, it gets my attention more. There's escalate, and then alarm. So let's say every time I get an urgent or priority contact notification, I wanna fire the alarm. And there's also an option, by default, you place sounds with incoming calls, requests to joins and meetings, but I can say uncheck that, or you know what? Uncheck play sounds when I'm busy or in a meeting. So you have a lot more control over your different types of sound notifications right here in settings. The seventh new feature is the ability to hide the general channel in your team. It's been a long time request. So in the Mark 8 project team, maybe the general channel here, I will hit the three dot menu and just choose hide. And very quickly that one goes away. I could go and hide it in my sales and marketing channel as well, let's hide that. Now if I wanna bring it back, I just choose see all channels and this pulls up the new channels user interface. 
And right now you can see that general is hidden, but if I go over here, I can choose show, and there I brought it back again. Now it is showing. So you can see all those you can choose here as well if you wanna choose this full menu to show and hide different channels in a team. The eighth new feature is the ability to mark notifications to follow a specific post. So right here is an important post. I can hit the three dot menu and say, turn on notifications for this post and any replies to it. So now, anytime someone replies, I'll get an update for that post. And I can go and turn that off in the same way, turn off notifications for a specific post. The ninth new feature is the ability to add custom emojis. And this is in public preview right now as of August. And this is controlled by the tenant admin. So if your tenant admin has disabled it, people can't add custom emojis. Sometimes in education institutions, they wanna lock that down. So don't worry, this is fully controllable. But in this case, I'm gonna click the little emoji right here. And there's this new option, the little dash dash all around the smiley face. And that is your org's emoji. So I can add these. So in this case, I'm gonna upload and add my own emoji. So click here. And I'm gonna choose this one, speaker. Now you can quickly see what that emoji even looks like. There are some examples, you have Clippy here. Give the name of an emoji and it needs to be in lowercase. So we'll choose speaker and add. Now you can see that custom emoji is right there. I'll add another one. We'll add reflect and then add emoji. So in this case, I'm gonna choose reflect right there and it adds a nice little reflect. Oh, isn't that pretty? Maybe I'm gonna go here and then go and choose to add speaker as well instead. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.